Twitch just updated and here's everything that you need to know. I've been waiting for this day for years, if I'm being honest with you. I've wondered how many times do I have to call out Twitch and give them the exact solution that would fix all of their problems. Fast forward, they have finally taken my advice and implemented what I've advised for the past year now. What is this major problem you may be thinking? Well, from a small streamer perspective, it is nearly impossible to get viewers into your streams by just streaming on Twitch. The problem is that Twitch has always been built on a rich get richer type of system, meaning those that have viewers get recommended to new potential viewers, while new streamers will never have the chance to be seen. With me being in marketing for years, success in business is like a second language to me. I feel like Captain Hindsight with business because I always know what a company should and shouldn't be doing. I say all that to say, I've been telling Twitch for over a year now that they need to implement a TikTok-like section. They need to have a section where small streamers can post clips so potential viewers can get lost in the TikTok-style doom scroll content that is modern social media. This would be a win-win as Twitch would have far more active users, resulting in more ad revenue, as well as a better business model for selling more ads. This will be a win for small streamers as well because now they can put content directly on the platform that they stream on, so they no longer have to focus on funneling viewers into their streams from outside sources. So long story short, Twitch finally took this idea, however, the way that they executed was so bad, even the Twitch that they had before the update was better. I try to be very optimistic and there is always a positive takeaway in even the most negative scenarios. I said that to say I will be ripping on Twitch, but hang with me because I'm going to explain to you exactly what you need to do as a small streamer to combat this and to create a viewership for yourself. Not only did Twitch add this TikTok style section like I advised, but they also completely revamped the home section, which is why they nearly ruined the app. It is so bad that I have no desire to use it and let me explain. Before, when you clicked on the Twitch app, you would have a full list of every streamer that you follow sorted by viewers. If you know that your favorite streamer only holds about 20 viewers, you would know that you would have to scroll down that far to find them on that list. Well, now there is no list. None. You cannot see who is all streaming. All that you could do is swipe through streams to find someone that you want to watch from your following list. So if I follow 100 streamers and I want to watch one streamer specifically, I have to search for them or swipe through 100 different streams to find them. This again only rewards those that already have viewers and will will take away the ability for small streamers to ever reach new people. Let me give you a further example. Let's say I click on Twitch and I want to find someone to watch. I typically support small streamers, however, I do follow a couple big streamers. As soon as I open Twitch, a big streamer comes up and I swipe up a few times until I finally get sucked into a stream. If I follow three or four big streamers, the chances are I'm going to be sucked into one of these big streamer streams and then I will never have the chance to go to one of the small streamers that I follow and support them instead. This makes me very angry because Twitch again and again does nothing to support small streamers and help them grow. But even worse this time, they updated it and made it seem like this update was for the small streamers to get discovered, when in reality, it killed the reach for small streamers. I do not advise running to kick streaming right away because they also don't help small streamers as well as they have a much smaller viewership in general. I go into a deep comparison for Twitch versus kick here on my channel, updated for 2024. Twitch, again, I will tell you how to fix all of your problems very simply. Number one, make the For You page a separate tab at the bottom of the Twitch app instead of a part of the home page. Number two, make the home page like it was before, but sort the channels via time watched, not by viewers. Number three, incentivize streamers to post clips directly on the clips tab via higher ad rates because you guys will make so much more from these type of ads. In doing this third step, you will get the popular streamers to do all of the work for you. They want the higher ad revenue, so they will post their content on this clip page and then direct all of their viewers to this new clip section. This clip section will suck people in because it's the TikTok doom scroll, like I mentioned, which will keep all of these people on your platform, which allows you to have the same profit margins as these other mega social media companies, as well as letting you stand out because you are still a live streaming platform. Now, if you are a small streamer, I'm willing to bet that your viewership has gone down after this update because nearly everyone in my management program that averages less than 100 viewers did. This is because Twitch removed the ability to be exposed to a list of your favorite streamers at once to trade in for you to have the ability to get sucked into a major streamer. Again, I'd like to reiterate that this only further rewards major streamers and takes the little viewers away from the smaller streamers and gives it to those that already have hundreds of viewers. How can you combat this as a small streamer? How can you bridge the wealth gap in terms of viewership on Twitch? Well, it's simple. You need to reach more viewers elsewhere. If you have a strict schedule as far as streaming only once a week on a specific time, you could use other social media sites as well as TikTok, YouTube Shorts, etc. to post your stream content. Then when these people are exposed to your content on these short form platforms, you could easily funnel them into your streams because they know exactly when and where to find you. The problem with this new update is it's now harder than ever before as a small streamer to reach new viewers directly on the Twitch app. With that being said, it's more important now than ever before to post your content on short form platforms. These platforms have algorithms designed to put your content in front of new people even if the content is bad. If the content is good, their algorithm will keep pushing you to more and more potential viewers, which you could use to funnel these people into your streams. When you do funnel these viewers into your streams, you will be able to leverage these viewers to reach even more people because remember Twitch rewards streamers that have viewers with the ability to reach even more viewers. This will allow you to bridge the wealth gap of Twitch viewers and allow you to become one of the top watched Twitch streamers without any help or support from Twitch itself. If you would like to work with me one-on-one -on -one and have me tell you exactly what you need to do in order to grow, join my management program on Patreon as long as I have any spots open. I interact with all of your content from high follower accounts to boost your algorithm and get your content seen by more people, increasing the chance of you being able to funnel these 
reach people into your streams. Along with that, I retweet every one of your tweets every day, which you could use to reach more potential viewers, as well as tweet out every single time you go live. Last but not least, I have a more detailed hour long guide with everything marketing related that you will need in order to use marketing to grow your streaming brand and create a viewership for yourself. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you are a streamer, I found out that 98% of you do not subscribe, even though I'm giving out marketing gold in terms of information for your streams. So if you've learned anything, I would appreciate it greatly if you subscribe and hit that like button for my algorithm. Speaking of algorithms, YouTube has this new feature where they use their algorithm to determine what video they think that you'll like the most. It's this video here and tell me if you think they got it correct.